My parents' flight lands in a few hours. Oh, so does that mean I don't get to see you this weekend? Stop. Don't make me feel bad. I'll try to sneak away. You mean you will sneak away? If not, I'll just have to harass you with annoying gifts all weekend. Trust me, you already do that enough <laughs> when you're around. I call that love, baby girl. Ooh, you want some leftover pizza? Breakfast in bed? How romantic. I'll be back. Don't warm it up. Yeah, I love Nolani. I mean, she's beautiful, smart, funny, all that. But I don't know. I can't explain why I love her. I don't know. She's... I can be who I really am when I'm around her. And no matter what, I feel confident that she'll always be here. And yet I still want to be my best when I'm around her. And I am. She's my best friend. Oh, hey, Lonnie. Hey. The fuck? Is that my old key? Did you give her my old key? Yeah. Oh, the drawers. Oh, Lonnie, how was the weekend with your parents? We actually kind of need to talk about that. Oh, okay, wait, because I'm looking for this lottery ticket right now. It's kind of important. Cam. Cammy. Cam. What? Okay, I feel like you're not really listening. Yeah, well, I already told you I'm looking for a ticket, so. You think you won the lottery? Yeah, it's gonna be millions of dollars. I'm gonna lose it if I can't find it. Nina's calling. Uh, tell her we're on our way. Oh, I just had it. Where is it? It's not ending up. Cam. Cammy. Cam. Cammy. What, babe? The ticket's gonna be there in five minutes. Can you just give me that? Okay, fine. What's wrong? Why do you look so anxious? Um, I, I just. Told her that you think you won the lottery, and she said, "Stop lying, OMG." What? Tell her I'm so serious. All right, I'm listening. Sure. Okay, remember, um... She said, I haven't been this excited since Beyonce and now she was having twins. Tell her, oh my gosh, me too! Wait, she replied first and she said, now we'll be so rich we'll be able to buy her twins. What? I don't even think that's how that works! I don't understand Nina's obsession with buying celebrities babies. Yeah, me neither. So, listen. Now she's calling again. Just tell her I'm talking to Nalani just a second, I'll be out there in a second. Send her to I told my parents about us. Wait, what? What, what? what do you mean? What, what, what did they say? I don't know. Well, how did they take it? They were mad and confused and... They put rosary beads in my bag, and they're not even Catholic. Shouldn't we have maybe talked about this first? I mean, we've been dating for 10 months. I thought it was time. Hey, did you find that ticket? Okay, but we were supposed to do it at the same time. Now I feel like I have to tell my parents. I guess not. Just the other day, I was telling you that I didn't even know if I was ready, but guess that didn't matter to you, right? Probably because everything's not about you all the time. You know what? <laughs> oh, you found it. I can't look. What do you mean you can't look? I don't know. What if I didn't win? You seemed pretty sure about it, like, five minutes ago. I didn't win, guys. I didn't win. Now I just feel like I'm in a 90 sitcom with a stereotypical lottery scene where the main character doesn't win. I mean, it did seem kind of cliche. I'm sorry, Cam.
Well, I no longer have a reason to be here, so I'm gonna go. I love you. Be safe. I'm gonna grab some weed on the way out, just a little bit. It's still taped under the coffee table, right? And maybe like a little bit of wine. Bye, well. Okay. Oh, and I'm assuming that's a no as well on the dogs. Okay, right, yeah, I'm just gonna go delete the tweet. Goodbye. Bye, Summer. I'm warning you, my sister is crazy. I'm sure she's just fine. One time, she told someone not to put money in their mouth because it might have been up a stripper's ass. She kind of has a point. It was an eight-year-old girl. Do you think she'll like me? Girl, Carol likes everybody. Yeah, but I mean for you. You're perfect for me. So I know Carol will feel the same. She's here. is not your girlfriend. She is way too fine for you. Kara, stop. I'm serious. You don't be posting the right pictures or something because Instagram does not do you justice. You look like somebody from out of a laundry music video or something. I bet she liked Janae Aiko, don't you? She does, actually. Uh, oh, man, you smell like coconuts. Nalani, mm. <laughs> this is Kara, my big sister. Obviously, Kara, meet Nalani. She's very straight. She's right or else this interaction would have been a bit more than a handshake. Can you please stop harassing my girlfriend, Kara, please? Okay, where's the wine? Actually, I take that back. I feel bad for everyone, because they don't have mine. Mm. I cannot believe mom and Fred really went out the country without telling us. And what black people do you know go to Iceland in the middle of February? I mean, I'm just glad they're actually working on their marriage. Couples therapy has been really good for them. That's how I want my marriage to be. You want your marriage to be so bad that you gotta go to couples therapy and take these elaborate retreats like rich white people? No, Kara. I just think that if I'm married, I should be doing any and everything to keep it that way. Meloni, 
What do you think about this? It's Nalani, but I go with Cam. Me and Lon already talked about what we would do to make our marriage work. Right, babe? Mm-hmm. You do realize how obnoxious she gets over the holidays, right? I mean, Cam doesn't really like gifts, and I don't really know why. Cameron? Oh, what do you know? Nina is calling me. Nobody's calling you. Um, and I gotta pee, like, really bad, so... I'm just gonna go. Every single time. So... Valentine's Day is coming. Mm -mm, not getting into it. I mean, I don't know what to do if she doesn't like gifts. Christmas was so easy because she was with you and your parents. Just do what I do every holiday. Nothing. I mean, that works for you, but no offense. Cammy means more to me than that. I just want to show her how much she means to me. Mm hmm. You do realize this is real life, right? Not some teenage drama. I'm being serious. You love her that much, huh? I do. She loves dolphins. And that's all I'm going to say. Dolphins. Mm -hmm. What you guys in here talking about? Why you don't have a phone case on your phone? It feels better without it. Not using protection never feels better. Believe me. I feel like in relationships, there's always one person who loves the other more. I bet you can guess which one I am in mine. <laughs> Finally, you're up. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. Come here. Oh God. <laughs> really? Oh God. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. I wrote this just for you, so.
one. Wow, honey. Thank you. That was amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I meant to tell you the other day that I got so close to booking the Ville. What? But their spots fill up so fast. Um, yeah, I just, I feel like if I just get it one time, that'll be it for me. Right? I mean, what's a SoundCloud anyway, right? It's only Apple Music and Spotify from here on out, boo. It's coming on. You're gonna book it? Oh. I meant to tell you I got you something. Something else? <laughs> Juan, I already feel bad because I didn't get you anything. I know you don't like gifts. I know. But I just want to show you how much I love you. So, it's something small, nothing major. Okay. What's in here? Is it money? It's tickets to the aquarium. And look, they have a dolphin exhibit. Lonnie, why did you do this? Because I thought it was sweet. And usually when people say they don't like stuff, they're just bluffing. Yeah, no, I definitely wasn't bluffing. How could you just completely disregard my feelings? Whoa, just a second ago, you really liked the song. What is it? Tangible gifts you don't like? What the hell is the difference? I just wish you would listen to me when I'm trying to tell you things about myself. I mean... Why can't you just do what I ask for once? Why does everything always have to be so difficult with you? So difficult with me? It's the aquarium. Something we could have easily done at any time. And dolphins are cute. Dolphins are cute? Funny, they're being housed in a tank for our enjoyment so we can go watch them do pony tricks and then go home to a place where we chose to live. But no, dolphins don't get that same freedom because people fucking suck. Have you not seen Blackfish? Wow, I can't believe Kara told me that this would be a good idea. Kara. I've always been so hard on Cammie. Like, for instance, when we were kids, I used to make fun of her for still playing with toys. I'm like, you're 13 years old. Why are you still having full-blown conversations with a Furby? I might be giving myself a bit too much credit here, but I feel like I'm the reason why Cammie feels the need to always stick up for herself, even now. But is that wrong? Melanin, melanin, boy. That beauty, everything. Melanin, melanin, boy. My that beauty, everything. It's just the way that she moves, she moves, she moves this way. Hello? Really, Kara? Dolphins? Oh, damn. I forgot it was Valentine's Day. Why, Kara? Because I'm single, bitch. Not everybody can find his girlfriend like you. No. Why did you tell her I like dolphins? Because you need to grow up, Cammie. Oh, I need to grow up. Yes. It was your birthday the day the dad left. So buying that shitty stuffed animal tarnished presents for you. I get it. I didn't love us. Okay, fine. There are a lot of shitty parents out there. Is there something to be said about? Yeah. But at some point, you have to stop letting what dad did prevent someone else from actually loving you. Why did Nolani even come to you? This isn't your business and it's definitely not hers. I handle things the way I want to handle them, and you already know that. Well, how is that working out for you? Did you even throw away the stupid dolphin yet? It's been 15 years, and you're still holding on to something that is never going to make its way back to you. You know what? Whatever. I'm over this. None of your business? 
Kimmy, I'm your girlfriend. You know that I never knew how to ride a bike until I was 17 because I fell off once and I never got back on. What does that have to do with anything? Nothing, but it makes me feel embarrassed and vulnerable. And I've never told anybody that before. Again, what does that have to do with anything? I feel like I know nothing about you. Not the real you. I love you enough to tell you the things that I've never told anyone. And you can't do the same. So, what are you trying to say, Lonnie? That I don't love you? No, but it's obvious who loves the other more. It always has been. Or are you just afraid of your feelings and opening up to someone and being vulnerable? Mm-mm. Don't even try to turn this on me, girl. You went behind my back to talk to my sister and ask her information about me when you could have just came and talked to me about it. You are so incredibly self-absorbed. I was just trying to make you happy. And I told you exactly what would make me happy. What? Me staying out of your business? Who thinks that about their girlfriend? The type of person who isn't ready for their girlfriend to know every little detail about their life. There are no set rules to a relationship, Lonnie. I'm a fucking flawed human being with layers, but oh, little Miss Perfect Nolani Smith, the angel God hand-carved himself to shit bubbles and piss rainbows wants me to be vulnerable, so she knows all my defects, which do nothing but validate the fact that she's a perfect, spoiled brat who does nothing but play the guitar and sing lullabies in her own little flawless bubble and doesn't know shit about what it's like to be me. I would do anything for you, Cam. And it's too bad you'll never see it. You just take my stupid guitar and my stupid bubble and leave. Lonnie. Whatever is wrong with you, I hope you have fun working it out. Lonnie. <laughs> Humans love to put on this facade like we're just all so happy, never insecure, never hurt, and we all know exactly what we're doing. But the truth is, we're all a little fucking depressed. And life's a whole lot sadder than we actually want it to be. Reality's all that's ever been familiar to you. What happens when you finally receive happiness? Casanova, tell me it's not over yet. Casanova, tell me it's not over It's like I haven't been here in like forever. Hmm. Ooh, wait, Lonnie, when did you start using a lot of body products? I've been trying to put you on for like a year now. They're curl milk, it's the truth. Can I ask you something? Um, why are you here and how did you know I would be home? Um. Well, I Instagram stalked you. Oh, your breakfast, by the way, this morning looked great. Was that a vegan waffle? Why were you Instagram stalking me? 
We unfollowed each other. I mean, that's what exes do, right? I stalked your Spotify, too. Actually kind of concerned. You've been listening to a lot of John Mayer lately. I mean, his love songs, they're amazing, but his breakup songs, eh, not so much. <laughs> Especially when they're being used to get over me. Happy birthday, Cameron. Oh, I'm Cameron now. Yikes. I mean, he kind of broke my heart, so... Um, you know how hard it is for me to admit when I'm wrong. But I was very wrong for how I acted that night. And I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said those things. But you meant them. Not in the way that they came out. But you're right. I did mean them. My dad left me when I was nine years old. Today makes it exactly 15 years ago. And obviously I buried it. I never faced it. I never forgave him. And instead I just projected all the anger I had for him onto the people closest to me. Lon, you're perfect for me. And you have no idea how, how much that scares me. I mean, I, I, I don't do perfect. All I know is chaos. And so when something too perfect comes along, I, I don't know, I, I guess I try to control how it leaves me rather than just waiting for it to catch me by surprise and leave on its own. Cam. I know, I know what you're about to do, but I'm not looking for a cop out. I spent the last month blaming everyone else. Let me feel bad about it. I got you something. For me, on your birthday? I've never been too crazy about gifts. Here. Open it. It's an email. Read it. Dear Cammy, thank you for your interest in our venue. We were impressed by Nolani's music, along with your persistence, and have created a space for her in the lineup of her next show on April 21st. Please confirm. Oh my God, you booked the bill? No, you booked the bill. All I did was send them a SoundCloud link and harass them with a dozen other emails, but the link definitely reeled them in. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. And no one else in this world deserves it more than you. I love you, Cam. I love you more, Lonnie. No matter where I stand, I'll keep an open hand for me to take what I need. Loving ain't sacrifice, two hearts is twice as nice. Learning to Making it so hard to see